So coming up next, this will be my main class for the fee for the condition, poison condition damage, and this will be my finalized version for 2016. Obviously, next year there will be some more changes to the class and also to the balance. But until that point, I would like to just finalize everything that I have done so far uh, for the fee for this year. And so in the future, I can look back and see what I can improve upon either in regard to my video quality or in the balance itself. All right. Just a little bit of a background of the thief. I am not trying, sorry, not the background, but I'd like to um, rectify, sorry, not rectify, I'd like to clarify that I am not trying to compete with the Berserker build. The Berserker build physical damage for the thief with the usage of Scholar Rune is still the strongest damage the thief can achieve in the game. And because of that, I'm not trying to compete with that. And don't get me wrong, I still run my Berserker build on the regular basics for very specific content like Factor of the Mist, Dungeon, and Raids. Now, we'll be not, I will not be talking about those in this video because this one is for the purpose of, purpose of doing general PV content like rooming, meta events, and etc. And so because of that, I, I like to say that um, the Thief Condition Damage is quite a fun class to play in regard to its unique ability to share the Venom uh, Condition to fight other allies and in return it will increase the overall Condition Damage of the entire team provided that the team is heavily Condition Damage based. So for example, if I have the Thief, I have a Warrior, Condition Damage Warrior, I have a Condition Damage Ranger, the Engineer and the Neko. So if they stack close to me, I can activate the Utility Venom that can share my Condition Damage stack on them and subsequently that will lead to an overall increase in Condition Damage for the entire team and that's what I find really unique and fun to play the Condition Damage build for the Thief, especially for the Poison. Alright, so Poison Damage is the primary damage for the Thief. You can also get the Bleeding as well, but um, Poison is still the primary damage source for the Thief, and so this build will be tailored to that. Alright, so without any further ado, I don't want to yapping for too long about the background of the Thief. Let's dive into the build. I'll start off with Specialization, then I'll move on to the Equipment and Weapon and all the information. So let's get on to it. For the Condition Damage Specialization for the Thief, I will be going with the Trickery, Deadly Arts, and Daredevil. Now for the Trickery, I'm using top, bottom, bottom. Uh, for the top one, I'm using Caltrops. This one will allow me to leave some Caltrops behind me whenever I dodge, and that will inflict the Bleeding Condition Damage, but it can also inflict the Cripple. Uh, which will reduce the 50% movement speed. Um, good for survival and also good for uh, slowing down your enemies, especially when you are defending a, uh, an NPC or defending um, event mechanism. Alright, so for the next one, pressure striking, enemies you interrupt are inflicted with torment. So sometime in the middle of the combat, you usually will um, interrupt the enemy by stun them, knock them back, or uh, any of the, that uh, crowd control skill. And so whenever you do that, you will inflict the torment condition damage to the target. And the next one would apply the confusion, confu uh, confusion condition damage on the target foe by this one right here, steel, F1 skill. So in the combat, I usually I try to use this steel skill uh, as much as possible because it's not only applying the poison condition damage, but it can also apply the confusion damage as well. And confusion condition damage is really good, especially when it comes to any casters. Uh, so whenever they cast a spell, they would take um, condition damage every time when they do that. So not only the caster, but it can also be like any other classes that's casting the skill. So really good, especially when it comes to one-on-one -on -one for the boss. And if you apply it on to, uh, you know, let's say uh, a player, then that player will be subjected to a lot of condition damage uh, whenever he or she casts a spell. All right, for the next one, Deadly Arts. Now, because in this build, I'll be using the dagger. So I have top, top, top. Now, for the dagger training, this will allow me to have a chance to poison my enemies. And because poison condition damage is the primary source of the condition damage top for the thief, and because of that, I like to have the dagger or no more attack to inflict the poison condition damage. And so with the rest of my um, uh, my weapon skill. Now, for the next one, Deadly Trapper. Now, this one, sometimes I prefer to have it. 
um, especially when I'm doing the event by myself or when I'm rooming as you can see in here I'm sitting in the Gendarant fields which is level 25 to level 35 I was doing an event earlier and so in this one uh, because I'm doing everything by myself and I don't have anybody to help me I prefer to have the trap for two reasons first the trap can give me a five might wound and as I'm not sure if you watch my other videos or not, but if you do, might is a. Um, if you don't, might is a boon that will allow me to have an increase in uh, physical damage, power, and also condition damage, and it tax it stacks intensively. Uh, so ideally, you would want in in a party or in an event, you would want to have it to be at 25 might stacks, which is the maximum that you can go for. But because in the general PVE, especially when it comes to rooming, you are by yourself. And because you are by yourself, it would make a lot more sense that you have a decent amount of might so that you can give yourself an increase um, in the condition damage and physical damage. And uh, these two are the ones that I'm using. So for the first one is the ambush. The, the ambush will provide me with the ability to call in another thief to help me out in the battle. And because I'm doing everything by myself, right, I need prefer to have another companion to help release the uh, stress from too many mobs attacking me all right so for the next one i have the needle trap the needle trap which will set and uh, set a trap that will immobilize and poison for whenever i uh, whenever they trigger it and so because of that it's not only dealing condition damage but it can also provide me with the mic boons so, and it also re reduce the cooldown for the trap as well and so um for rooming doing everything by yourself then um having the deadly trapper would be benefit um would be a benefit uh, attribute for you to take now if you are in a meta event then in that case you have a lot of people going with you in that case then i would highly recommend you to either going with the punish strike striking a four that below the health threshold immobilize them or mm, safe if you want to go with safe and you don't have to worry about you know um your anything about the power or activating the um the traps in that case just go with the review training the review training will give you an extra power uh you cannot stealth but that's fine because we are not using any stealth in this build um so in that case if you just want to have the power um then an increase in power so you can deal more extra physical damage then in that case that's fine use this attribute but otherwise um when you are rooming then use the deadly trapper now for the next one potent potion poison now this one will increase the poison duration poison deals increase the damage and so because obviously this build is tailored to the poison condition damage it is um, a must to have the an increase in poison condition damage and duration now for the next one daredevil now for the daredevil I use the top middle middle uh, for rooming and I will talk about how I use uh, my how I change my specializations for the meta events and when I when I am in a group. So for the first one, I have the Havoc Mastery. This will deal increased damage to enemy within the range threshold. So obviously, I um, more damage is better, and also because I most of the time I will be in the combat uh, closer to the enemy using my da do dagger right here. That's the first weaponry set, and sometimes when I swap to my short bow, I prefer to range it from afar. But I keep my distance to roughly about three hundred sixty uh, range threshold and that will give me an increase in the damage overall by seven percent now for the next one i'm using the uh, absolution which will reduce sorry not reduce remove a condition whenever i evade an attack so um i consider the other two but the other two are more specialized in staff and this build is not you know uh physical damage so the only you know logical choice that i can take uh, for the second attribute for the devil is the escape absolution for the next one, this one, it depends on the scenario. So whenever I am rooming by myself and do everything by myself, then in that case, then I will have the dash because it will provide me with the ability to remove a condition and also provide me with the swiftness for 33% movement speed. And that will get me from, you know, let's say that I move from uh, virtual keep to, let's say to this, um, this one right here is dice. So in that case, I would prefer to have extra movement speed to uh, fasten the distance um, that I travel. So like closer the, the distance that I need to travel from one location to the other. 
and they can also provide with, with the ability to remove any crowd control so uh, immobilize cripple and also geo effect and so um, that's really good if you want to have some extra survival skill in your specializations now for the meta event when I'm doing a meta event or when I'm doing event with a group of people then in that case and I prefer to have the impaling lotus now the impaling lotus provide me with the ability to have extra condition damage and can also provide me with the ability to uh, find uh, daggers whenever I dodge so let me just give you a demonstration whenever I dodge like this I'm not only um, leaving behind the caltrops but it can also fighting the dagger to the enemies around me and it can also provide me with an increase in condition damage as well and so that's really good especially when you are doing the meta events or any any contents that were required a party of five or if you know any party so this is good for that purpose but for the uh, rooming doing everything by yourself then this one would be more appropriate or if you want to have a um, more survival skill for your specialization then by all means go for the dash um, I'm just giving you options now let's talk about the utility but I'm I'm keeping this specialization right here because uh, the utility will have some effect um, with the so we have some effect on the specialization depending on what depending on the scenario and depending on uh, what you want to do with your thief so for the first one withdraw withdraw is the one that I prefer to use the most uh, even even if I'm doing the meta event or if I'm doing the um, special content or any any events that require a party of five or if I'm in a group I still prefer to use withdraw because of one it has a very fast cooldown only about 18 seconds and it can also evade the attack and also curing all of my condition damage sorry not all of the condition damage but it will cure most of the condition damage and so because of that I like to have this one just for me to have extra survival uh, to get me out of the combat now alternatively if you want to go with more extra damage then in that case just go with a scale venom now this one will heal myself but it can also provide me with the ability to spread my venom across to five other targets and in turn they will start dealing the venom condition damage on the target as well so this one is more the damage options and this one is more of a survivability option but again most of the time I'll be using the withdraw now let's talk about the first utility the first utility I will have the spider venom the spider venom is a must because it will provide me with the ability to deal to have the an extra uh, poison condition damage stack on the target and um, the beauty of having a thief is it can share across to five other targets and whenever the five other targets let's say that they are uh, condition damage class as well so let's say that they are warrior uh, engineer they are ranger condition damage and uh, what else a necro and also another thief so five other targets and you use this one it will share the poison uh, venom to those five targets and in turn they can use that to apply extra condition damage sta uh, stacks of the poison on the target foe so it is really good uh, in the sense that it will increase the overall damage of the entire team and that's what I love about it now for the next one this I already mentioned about you know what I usually prefer when I doing the meta uh, what I um, prefer when I do the rooming or uh, soloing content by myself now in a meta event I would prefer to have these to swap for that and that so now you have spider venom scale venom and also i drag venom so that will give you six stacks of poison condition damage that will give you another four and that will give you another four so in total you have 14 of the poison condition damage stacks now sorry not for not 14 poison condition damage stack because this one will inflict the torment and this one will inflict the chill so again because these the beauty of the thief is to share the condition damage to your allies and having these will increase the overall damage of the entire team provided that your team is condition damage um, heavy so let's say uh, again let's say that you have a warrior you have a ranger you have a necro you have an ng condi and you have another thief in your party so these will increase the overall damage of the entire team by sharing extra condition damage 
poison condition number stacks and burn uh, entombment condition number stacks now this one is a chill this one is a uh, soft cc skill uh, soft CC condition uh, condition on the target and so because of that is really good if you want to uh, break the CC part now for those of you who don't know what CC is I will include a link out down in the descriptions for the video that I will upload later on in regard to the CC mechanic all right so but alternatively you can also take the de devour venom but i felt that the devour venom it, it has a very long cooldown 40 seconds so and it only has two stacks of immobilize so i don't feel like i should be taking that one instead i prefer to have the attract venom which is 36 seconds so it's a little bit less but it can also provide the ability to have four extra venom stacks to your allies all right so Let's move on with the elite. Now for the elite, I prefer to have thief guilds, thieves guild, uh, when I'm soloing or rooming the content by myself. Now, when I'm in a group, I prefer to have the Basilisk Venom. Why Basilisk Venom? Basilisk Venom is a, I was looking for the term tremendous, but it's not a, Basilisk, okay, so I, let me just put it for you this way. Basilisk Venom is one of the must skill in raid, in dungeons, in factors. And almost every other other contents that will provide that will require for you to have the Pacific Venom when you are in a group. Why is that? The Pacific Venom it will provide you with the ability to stun the target and also transform them into a stone. That is a very strong crowd control skill. Now, if you don't know what crowd control is, um, or the CC mechanics, then again I will uh, just look now for the. Uh, description box i'll put up the video about the uh, cc and also crowd control mechanics uh, cc bar so but for now basilic venom is a very strong crowd control skill and it would be required to almost every group especially when you are dealing with special contents or very specific content or even when you're doing when you are doing the meta event and you are facing with a single boss and that boss i can guarantee you that most of the time the boss in her thorns well, actually, if not all of them, will have the CC bar built in. And when they have that, you need to break the bar. And to be able to break the bar fast, you will require to have a strong CC skill. And Basilic Venom is one of those CC skills. And I can guarantee you that a lot of people will thank you for that. Because obviously, it's good and it can make the event go smoother. And so... Um, when I'm doing the meta event, by, when I'm doing the meta event, I will be using the Pacific Venom. Otherwise, I will be using the Thief skill. Now, you can also consider having the Impact Strike, but again, this one compare compare Impact Strike and Pacific Venom for this build. I prefer to have the Pacific Venom because you can share this Venom to your friends, and by itself, Pacific Venom is only a strong CC. Imagine that you shared it to other five targets. That amount of crowd control will be tremendous. And I can guarantee you that a lot of people will love you for it. All right, so let's just quickly talk about what are others um, utility that I will be using. Well, obviously, you know, you can also consider, um, let's just put back to the, um, that oh yeah and by the way if you I'm sorry I forgot to mention like if you are using the this bill uh, for the meta event then in that case just offer review training or you can go with this but I prefer to go with the review training for a permanent 200 points in my power now and also soft for this one as well for for this utility so this format is for that that format is for that and that and that yeah all right so let's move to with the some of the utility that i'll be uh, using uh, also considerations in my consideration so for the first one face fear flurry so this one will strike multiple time and it will you know get access to pump strike it is another cc skill but it's more tailored to the physical damage rather than the uh, condition build for the thief uh, but you can take it if you want now for the next one i have the impairing daggers the impairing daggers will provide me with the ability to far to fling multiple daggers at a single enemy and inflicting the condition damage as well so if you don't want to use the uh, the trap when you are soloing you can also swap that into the reveal training and you can also use this one uh, for a single target 
now for the next one okay so from time to time I will be uh, swapping to this setup sorry not that setup this setup ah all right uh, make a mistakes uh, all right so okay just imagine this one is the um, signal of shadows so the signal of shadows will provide me with the 25% increase in movement speed and also it will blind falls near my target so especially when I'm doing the gathering um, gathering the materials in the map and I don't want to fight or I prefer to just be quiet be there you know be, just sneak in be quiet and get the items and then just get out in that case and oh we don't need to reset so let's put the thing of shadows back in so in that case I would be having these so that will apply my target so they can attack me so they will leave me alone so that I can um, uh, I can finish my gathering now but it doesn't apply for the condition damage on you so you are still subjected to the condition damage being inflicted you onto you by the mob so just keep that in mind now for this one the stealth now for the stealth if you are going to use the stealth don't go with this one okay um, just go with that or even that now the reason why I'm taking this format is because obviously if I just want to grab something very quickly so say for gathering note or it may be even in the dungeons if you want to skip or if you want to uh, you know just tell everything through and uh, you know just go past the mobs be quiet in that case then just go with this format now the smoke skin will allow you to create a smoke screen obviously that blocks projectiles and apply the foe now but it has a combo feel of the smoke and that will provide you with extra stealth uh, for the next one saddle refuge saddle refuge will provide you with a refuge at the target location and that will heal the allies and also inflicting the stealth conditions on on those people and so because of that these will be very good if you want to just skip content or you don't want to be disturbed by the mobs and so let me just quickly show you how this can be carried out so you would need to have your uh, shot bow and when you have your shot bow activate this one when you activate this one there will be a screen right now just keep on doing this area stealth see so you stealth yourself in this and that stealth will keep on stacking up right and then when you apply your salary refuge that one will also stacking up with the stealth durations and so the more that you have the better so that you can skip the content or continue your gathering Alright, so that's pretty much it for what I want to cover with the um, specialization of the thief. Now let me just put it back to my, yeah, it looks good. And um, I just put this one back and then put this one right here. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it later. But yeah, that's, that's it for the specialization of the thief. And then I'll be moving to the equipment. Now for the equipment choice, it's fairly simple for the, for the thief. You can either maximizing your damage with a full five percent, or you can go for the rapid set for the purchase options. Now for the spear rune, the spear rune for maximizing damage, it's um, a little bit time consuming. That is because you need to do the meta events in Verdant Brink to be able to get the Superior Rune of Thorns. And the Superior Rune of Thorns will provide you with the ability to have increase in the poison duration, but it can also increase your condition damage as well. Uh, and on top of that, it will provide you with a 50 points extra in condition damage uh, for 1 minute 60 seconds whenever you are hit by a poison foes. So that's really good. And this has a cooldown of only 10 seconds. So that's, you know, the top. Uh, rune that I would recommend people to go for especially for the build that heavily tailored to poison condition damage like the thief um, but again it will take you quite some time to get uh, 1250 uh, verdant bring tokens that we call them airship parts now the for the money it would take you about 12 gold no exactly 12 gold 12 gold and 1250 airship parts tokens for you to exchange at the itzel mastery vendor uh, for the superior rune of thorns now alternatively i can recommend the other ones if you uh, don't have access to if you don't like to farm is the superior rune of ore now superior rune of ore is even more um, time consuming or should i say like it's not many people taste um, I refer that to the fact that you have to do Ara to be able to get the Superior Rune of Ore. And Ara is the level 80 dungeon explorable mode. And again, people are just like, ah, uh, dungeon, I don't want to do it. So in that case, that's completely fine. If you don't want to get the Superior Rune of Ore, then uh, I can recommend you to go with the Superior Rune of Rathasum. And the Superior Rune of Rathasum is the budget option. Um, it's 
fairly cheap it's only uh, roughly about like three silver if i recall that correctly uh, on the market at the moment and so if you uh if you want to you can also go for the cpu rune of the berserker but i don't recommend you to go with the cpu rune of the berserker for this build mainly it's because it's tailored to the power condition damage and also it doesn't provide you with the extra um condition durations especially for the poison conditions and so because of that i don't recommend you to go with the super rune of berserker but if you have uh, some of them lying around extra ones then by all means feel free to just plug it into your um uh, full fiber set now for the rabbit set again this one is the budget option right and because this is a budget option then i would recommend you to go with the CPU rune of rather soon now for the accessory and trinkets i would recommend you to go with full vipers if it's possible for both uh viper sets and rabbit set now if you don't have access to the three new maps or if you if you prefer to just try it out a class without investing a lot of resources into your character and then and then in that case i would recommend you to just go with the rampages or a hybrid between rapid and dice but i highly recommend you to just go with rampages from the uh, temple exchanging for karma because it's so much cheaper to obtain rather than getting a full ascended set of the rapid and dice but again i would highly recommend you to do the three new maps plus stone fan and Bay and bitter frost frontier to get the new um ascended quality um accessory trinkets and etc uh and they do provide you with the viper stat as well all right so that pretty much it for the equipment let's move on to the weapons now for the weapon it's fairly simple you use two dagger for one set and then for the other set you'll be using the short bow now for the short bow it has a lot of aoe effects right and so that is for the meta events when you are facing with multiple mobs at the same time it's, that's what i would prefer for me to be using the short bow so that i can apply aoe effect and condition damage on multiple targets all right so for the short bow i'll be using full vipers now again if you don't have access to full vipers then in that case i would highly recommend you to go with the rampages for the time being now for the sigil two sigils that i'll be using a uh, superior sigil of small uh sorry superior sigil of venom and the other one is superior sigil of agony now alternative for the sigils um some of the consideration that i taking in um they are superior sigil of accuracy seven percent increase in the critical chance uh, the other one is superior sigil of earth which will provide you with a 60 percent chance on critical hit that will inflict depleting condition damage and um you can also consider the spear CGU of uh, fire to um, have an extra fly blast to nearby targets. So those are the ones that I have for you guys as an alternative. But usually uh, for me, I have my thief using the spear CGU of venom. And the other one is optional. I either go with the spear CGU of, of accuracy or I go with the spear CGU of agony. Otherwise, the PC of the earth works fine as well. Now, for the do dagger, for the do dagger is even uh, simpler. Full vipers or rampages if you're on a budget. Now. For the CGU, it's exactly the same. You, one of them is Superior CGU of Venom, and the other one is Superior CGU of Agony. Or you can swap the Agony out for the Superior, superior CGU of Earth. 60% chance on hit, you will get a inflicting bleeding condition damage on the target foe. So that's fairly simple, right? Um, aside from that, I have nothing to say in the other information sections. So perhaps I can stress out the point that, you know, if you have the if you have the access to the three new maps but a stone fan ember bay and the bitter frost frontier then by all means go ahead and do those maps so that you can get yourself a full set of trinkets um ascended quality that ha that will provide you with the fiber stats so that you can deal extra damage for your uh thief now as always if you have any questions for me feel free to leave down the comment be below or if you have any feedback please also do that as well all right so pretty much that it i will see you later